All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Hakodash, Lam Yom. Double honors to the apostles, others of Great Millstone, who teach on what is last days and who are the true religious nation of Israel. I want to give a Sean Shalom to the occupant of the four corners of the earth, but for the truth and sincerity, making a call and less assured to make the living, their bodies a living sacrifice. And I want to give a humble salutation to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is Brother Mashal. Coming back at you with a quick lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Shai. Representing Cleveland Branch Great Millstone. I want to say to Wadi Habashi Mashar for giving me the spirit and having the mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And um uh, I just want to talk about this article I had uh pulled up that came through on my feed. Um uh, it says this is from uh the New York Times. Um it says largest wildfire in New Mexico history among several scorching uh South Rest. Okay, so you had a lot of a lot of wildfires um, out there on the West Coast, you know, in the uh, in the uh, wooded area and in the, in the mountains and stuff like that. OK, so but this is these type of things always go down. But this is the largest wildfire in New Mexico history. OK, so uh Bashim Yashai is 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 really showing us that the end is near, man. OK, because the scriptures say. That um that that the Lord will begin to visit the world which He made, and how's He gonna do that? By what? Send these these uh these plagues, man. Okay, so we're gonna um read a couple a little bit of this this article, and I'm gonna get some precepts to back it up, and uh, Lord will the Lord willing us edify, is edifying. Okay, um it says um as temperatures climb on the East Coast, wildfire driven by heat, dry winds. And drought are scorching huge swaths of the Southwest and states including New Mexico, Texas, and Colorado, prompting a far reaching mobilization of fire fighting resources. It says uh, the early season blazes can include the Calf Canyon uh, Hermit's Peak Fire, which at 306,472 acres ranks as the biggest current wildfire. In the United States and the largest in New Mexico's recorded history. It says more than 2,400 firefighters, about half of the firefighters deployed around the southwest, are battling the fire. It says at least 10 wildfires have also been spreading in recent days in Texas, including the Mesquite Heat Fire near Abilene, which has destroyed dozens of structures in southwestern Colorado. Cold, wet weather has helped authorities contain the Sims fire, but mandatory evacuations in the region have kept many people on edge. Okay, uh, it says parched forests and uh, bone dry conditions are nurturing some of the blazes, but exceptionally erratic and forceful winds for this time of year, especially in New Mexico, have limited the capacity to drop water and retardant on the some of the fires. OK, so the, so so this is the this is the Lord's doing, man. He's not he's he's not making it rain in these in these certain uh, places. OK, and he's stirring up the winds uh, to help add fuel to this fire, man. OK, it says in southwest Mexico, authorities also. It's like authorities are also grappling with the black fire, which has spread over one hundred and six thousand acres in the Gila National Forest. The ballooning size of the blaze, which officials say is 4% contained, makes it the state's second mega fire this year. Okay? So so the Lord is is, is really working, man. Okay? Um, yeah, that's it on that. Uh... You know, I'm going to read a little bit more of this. It says, For, uh, forecasters are warning that strong wind gusts and dry weather could complicate firefighting effort, efforts in New Mexico in the days ahead. With almost 85% of the state in extreme drought, authorities have shut down public access to national forests around the state. On Friday, the U.S. Forest Service announced that it will halt and review its practice of prescribed burns across the country in light of the extreme drought and dry fuels. Okay, so that's that's it on that man. You know, uh, so yeah, this is the Lord. You know, um, uh, really, 
you know, uh, showing us, man, that 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 uh, these famines. OK, you know, let's start off with, in Habakkuk. OK, uh, Habakkuk chapter two and verse uh, three, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay? So these visions that 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 the prophets before us have uh have have told us and written down, okay, are, are being fulfilled right now. Okay? So these wildfires, these earthquakes, okay, tornadoes. All of these things are 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 signs that 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 Yahweh by Shem Yahshai is gonna uh make his return soon, man. Okay, let's go to because I had quoted it. Let's go to Second Ezra, it's the ninth chapter. Um, in verse one it says, and he he answered me then, and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see, so these things, these signs that, that the Lord is showing, man, is is are are, are benchmarks, I'm gonna say, benchmarks uh for the signs of the time that we're in. Okay? So we see uh part of the signs pass. Alright, now we understand that this is the the time when the when the Lord will begin to to visit the world which He made, man. All right, uh, verse three. It says, therefore, when when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest uh, have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects in science. Okay, so all of these things that are happening now are to let us to, to let us know that the end is manifest, man. Okay, and when we look at that word manifest, um. Let me see. Uh, let's see. What are I'll just get into Ecclesiastes. Strong's H thirteen oh five. Barrer. Barrer. All right. Um. Let's see, which definition do we want? Oh, you got test to prove. Uh, down here, to show oneself uh, pure. No, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, let's see. No, we, gotta, we might have to just look up the regular word. Uh, manifest, it says to display, to be evidence of. Okay, so all these things are on, are, are on display. Okay, that was from the Oxford Dictionary. Okay, to be made known. Okay, so these 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 things that are happening uh, uh, right now are showing that the end is is that the end is being shown is made is being made known. Okay. So we have to pay attention to, to, to what's going on, man. That's part of uh, being a watchman. Okay, and being a watchman is 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 looking and being uh, prudent. Okay, because prudence means to look uh look uh look uh uh to see before so that way you can look to, towards your well going. Okay. Let's go to um 
Let's go to Second Ezra, it's the fifteenth chapter. And let's start at the first verse. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in, in paper, for they are faithful and true. Okay? That's like, like just like just like Habakkuk said, you know, that uh though uh though they tarry, wait for it, because it shall surely come and will not tarry. Okay, because the Lord's words are faithful and true. Okay, so when we see these things uh, happening, okay, these wildfires, these uh, uproars of the people, you know, um, the, the the famines, the, you know, the 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 baby formula shortage, all of this, man, is the Lord showing that that the end is manifest, man. The end is being made known. Okay. Of verse three, fear not the in imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of, of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Okay, and when you go into that word uh 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 plague, you know, let's get that real quick too. Let's get the word plague. Uh, let's see. Uh, disease, um, a wound. Okay. A blow. It says figuratively, infliction. All right, and let's get the, let's look, uh, let's look it up. Uh, it says disease, a huge number. Uh, let's see, Slokia. Okay, so as a verb, it says afflict, uh, cause, uh, cause suffering to, torture, torment, trouble, okay, curse, okay, disturb, um, vex, you see? So these plagues uh, that the Lord is bringing are, are meant to vex Esau, man. And the vex Jake, the two two thirds. Okay, so the Lord is bringing plagues upon the on the world, man. All right, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. It says, "For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled." Therefore, saith the Lord, "I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them." In those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves, behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right, um, uh, verse 9 it says, And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me and all the innocent blood from among them. Okay, so this is this is the, the, the sign that the, that the Lord is close to avenging us, man. Okay, and how was he avenging us? By by bringing down Esau. Okay, now in Second Judges the sixth chapter, it says that that uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Okay, so Esau is being is his end is manifest, man. Okay, his kingdom is coming is is crumbling. All right, and the Lord is 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 showing us these these faith boosters by. By 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 plaguing uh, uh, Egypt, you know what? And this is gonna say that in the eleventh verse, um, verse ten. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Okay, and we're in spiritual Egypt right now. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before 
and uh, and will destroy all the land thereof. Okay, so this is what Yahweh Shemesh is doing, man. Smiting Egypt with plagues as before. Okay. So this is the, this is a powerful statement, man, because we're in spiritual Egypt now. And before, what did what did Yahweh Shemesh do, man? What he killed the firstborn, had a plague of frogs, uh, uh, turned the Nile River to blood. You know, I mean, all, all type of stuff. Locusts. Okay, but now in modern day Egypt, okay, in spiritual Egypt, which we're in right now, okay, the Lord is smiting modern day Egypt with plagues as before, man. Okay, and these are these are faith boosters, man. This is this is this is the Lord letting us know that the end of 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 Esau is nigh. Okay, let's go to uh, Syrac. Ecclesiasticus uh, 39 and 28. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Okay, so what is it? Fire was created for vengeance, man. These are because there are spirits that, that control fire. Okay, and these wildfires are are of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay, because the Lord is taking vengeance on Esau Edom, man. All right, let's, you know what? Let's go to Romans real quick. Romans uh, twelve and verse nineteen. It says, "Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves." but rather give place unto wrath for it is written. Vengeance is mine. I'll repay saith the Lord. You see? So we don't go out, uh, trying to, uh, you know, going into, to, to synagogues and doing all that type of folly, you know what I'm saying? And going into Jewish neighborhoods and doing all that. We don't do that, man. Okay. That's not, that's not written in the scriptures to avenge ourselves. Okay. But, but, the, but the Lord is going to avenge uh, do the avenging for us, man. Okay, because he can do a whole hell of a lot more damage than we could, man. All right, so we're not worried about getting our vengeance on this side, man. The Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is gonna do the vengeance for us, man. Okay. This is why the Lord uh, uh, says in, in um, uh, to the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah sixty six uh, that the Lord is coming back with with uh, with anger, okay, and re and is rebuke with flames of fire, okay. That no, those is going into the to the uh, you know to the to the nuclear missiles, okay. But the way the Lord is coming back, man, because the Lord is 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 angry right now, man. He's angry with the inhabitants of the earth. Okay, so this is how the Lord is 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 uh, showing his anger until he makes his return. By what? By using these wildfires, by creating, uh, you know, uh, water shortages. Okay, on the west coast, you can only have, you can only take a shower for so long. Okay, you can only buy a certain amount of packs of a bottle of water. Okay, of uh, the 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 uh, the food the the baby formula shortage. Okay, all of these things are is the Lord taking vengeance on Esau Edom because he's he's bringing his his kingdom to an end, man. Okay, because the vengeance is for Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, let me go to uh, Matthew and we'll wrap it up. Matthew 16 and verse 1. It says, The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and, t and tempting, desired him that he should show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky. But can, but can you not discern the signs of the time? See, 
These 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 things that the Lord is making manifest are a way for us to discern the signs of the times, man. Okay, so it's no it's no great wonder to the men of the Lord that the the biggest wildfire in New Mexico history is happening right now. Okay? It's no mystery that that the uh the the baby formula shortage is 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 happening right now because that's that's never happened before. Okay, lack of food, man, lack of bread. You know, all the food and, and stuff and, and supplies that are still sitting in the uh in the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. Okay? This is all the 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 manif the end being made manifest, man. Okay, and and we see these things. And this is a faith booster that that the Lord is is working, man. The Lord is dealing, man. Okay? So all we got to do, do is sit back, you know what I'm saying, hold fast, man. All right, so Lord willing us was edifying. I'm going to give all honor, glory, and infinite worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Hakwadash, Shalav, Lam Yom. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'm saying, Kwame Asherala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.